So you just press that middle one and let it go. Yeah. It's got on pause, is that? Is that? Is that gone? That's fine, yeah, yeah. I got your attention. Right. I'm going to read a, a, a quote in the Bible today. May say that hell is on earth. But Jesus speaks of a place called hell. It's probably the most graphic description of it in the Bible. Yeah, ba, 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 ba. And I'll be reading from Luke chapter 16. Hey. And verse 19. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. There was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate full of sores and desired to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried, and in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. For I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. And beside all this, between us and you there was a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that would come from thence. Then he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou would send us, would send him to my father's house. For I have five brethren, that you may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Abraham said unto him, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, if one went up from the dead, they will repent. And he said unto him, if they will not hear Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. God bless you. And that is eternity. That is a most perfect description of what happens when someone dies. They either go to heaven or hell. And that rich man who lived like a rock star, he thought he had everything, but he lost his soul. And so, really, riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. You see, you, you're, not, you're not just here to live and live in pleasure and possessions and money. You have a soul which belongs to God. And therefore, you are here to glorify God and Amen. live for Him. Amen. And the thing is, you and I are sinners. We break yeah, God's law all the time. And so, the Bible says, for the wages of sin is death. And that will take us directly to hell. And the problem is, is that one sin is enough to send a sinner to hell for eternity. Which is why Jesus is so important. Tell him he's because the, the Bible says that he was made sin for us who knew no sin. That we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Jesus took our sins upon himself Amen. that we might have his righteousness, his Amen. salvation. And it's available to you for free if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to turn away from your sin and believe on him. You see, this is interesting. He said, if one went up from the dead, they will repent. And so Jesus was risen from the dead and not many have repented. But the Bible says, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen. Do you believe that Jesus died for you personally on the cross for your sins? Do you believe that he rose again from the dead, and now he's glorified as King of kings and Lord of lords? Amen. Uh, we preach peace by Jesus Christ, Amen. for he is Lord of all.
Yes, Lord. As I urge you today, Gateshead, whatever you're doing, think about your soul. You have only a short time left. You don't know when your life is going to get cut short. But the thing is, you must think, ask yourself, am I right with God today? Do I have Jesus as my personal saviour? Without Jesus Christ, there is no forgiveness of sins. He is the door. He is the door. He is the door. And by him, all that believe will be saved. And you too can be saved today and have that assurance that your sins are forgiven and that your place in heaven is secure if you come to Christ and believe. This, lad, this man in hell was unrepentant. He had no thought of God at all. He thought he had everything. But he lost everything, including his own soul. That man is in hell now, eternally tormented in the flame which does not get quenched. All he has is the truth about himself Kira and his ba -ba 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 sins. But that doesn't have to be you today. You can come to Christ and believe on him and have eternal life, have that everlasting joy and assurance yeah, that whatever man. happens to you, you'll be saved and you'll be forgiven and you'll have eternal joy when you get into heaven. Amen. Yeah, as I urge you as I close, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Don't be like this fool here in, in this Bible, that man, the rich man. Don't be like him. He's a fool. Be wise. Consider your soul and turn to Christ today and have life in his name. Amen. It's there for the asking. Jesus said, if anyone comes to me, I will no eyes cast out. And the Bible promises that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. God Amen. bless you. Yeah.